Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for supporting the channel. You know, you're taking the knowledge of, you know, investing in towards your life and towards your path. And, you know, giving you some kind of validation or clues what you need to enhance and what the things that, you know, are actually resonating with you towards your journey. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are you know, comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or content in my video, you just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And, you know, if the videos just gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. So once again, thank you so much for showing me and my channel uh, love and support. And I hope you're able to, you know, resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to is you know what we really need in our lives a lot or you know if you're going through something at a time which impacts we catch hell so this will probably be a best one for you it's 432 hertz release inner conflict struggle anti-anxiety cleanse or stop overthinking and worry or stress and i'll post that link in the description box below you know if you love to meditate and stuff like that i love using the binarial beats or just cleansing my aura cleansing my house you know because we we absorb different energies every day we're going through our different situations you know so it's good to listen to stuff like that so with that being said my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when no one invests in you, invest in yourself. You know, I've been listening to a lot of, you know, mentoring videos or even motivational videos. You know, just when I make mine, you know, it's a blessing when you can hear other people. They're on the same wavelength as you. You know, you're learning stuff from them as I learn, you know, or they're learning stuff from me, which is a true blessing. And it's like, since I've been on this journey, it's been really hard. You know, losing my father, you know, not having my mother around and basically doing things on my own, but within the help of my extended family and the people I meet from day to day basis or just learning from other people is a true blessing to me. You know, learning new things, learning how to be able to let go, learning how to be able to do things on your own. You know, it was like me. I was a little lazy kid at times, you know, because I'm always thinking things are going to be handed to me. So it's just like growing up and going through my situation. Like I told y'all, when I first started coming back in my videos, I took a long break, a much needed break, because I was helping people every day. Like I told y'all, I was doing, um, you know, if anybody's been with me for a while, they know I have like four or five videos out during the morning time, but it's like the way I'm set up, I don't know, you know, like today, I'm doing my videos, it's like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> and you know, usually I do them in the afternoon, but it was like with my granddaughter, I don't, I'm not used to having babies around me you know my oldest one my youngest one is 18 years old my oldest one is 24 so it's just like going through all those situations and keeping my grandbaby oh lord you have to have a lot of energy for you know what for, for her and she was already fighting sleep and then she's teething and you know she has a little cold because of different weather changes we're going through so it was like oh, i had to sleep it in because i was like oh, i apologize to y'all because i said i was gonna have videos out yesterday morning and Rosalind didn't do that you know it's like when god tell you no go ahead and get your rest go ahead and get your rest so but um I'm going through my situations it has been a true blessing to me even though I went through hell and hot water it was definitely worth it you know there's times where I get upset I get pissed you know about how things are going you know I used to always talk to the universe or even tell you know acquaintances or friends that I'm you know doing one-on-ones with you know I just hate the way things go in my life because you know I go through I, I try to push out as much positivity as I can but it's like in the return you know they said what you put in is what you get back 
and it's like I do things selflessly you know I do things because I enjoy what I do I, I you know I send kind words to people especially if I truly need that they truly need it you know they need that validation like does anybody care does you know anybody worry about the things that I do and you know and the, the, you know my mom used to tell me even growing up I even see motivational videos you know a lot of people don't care about what you go through you know because they're dealing with their own stuff or whatever and I used to get so upset because it's like, you know, I told people when I first came back, you know, doing my videos, a lot of people, it's a blessing that when y'all looking up Twin Flames or you're looking up Empaths or you're looking up Hayokas, you know, you watch my videos and get the full effect you're learning and you're like loving the videos I put out. You can see Ross and I'm resonating with them. You know, I, I'm really on this wavelength. I'm glad there's, you know, I'm not alone. I'm going through this because, you know, it gives people hope. Like, why am I going through situations like this? Is there anybody who's going through that? And I had to, I, I felt the same way as a lot of people do. I just, you know, put my stuff out and I'm like, I don't know how anybody going to take this. You know, I got very touchy feely about it because it's like, you don't know what kind of reactions you're going to get out of it. But it's just like being a YouTuber. I can tell people when you, when you want to start a YouTube channel, if you're doing what I'm doing, you have to expect the unexpected, you know, especially if you're pushing out a lot of positive stuff. I speak my mind. I don't care what people think of me, but I know how I feel about me. That's what's important. But if you know that you're pushing out the truth and you're being positive, you're trying to teach people certain things that they're trying to educate themselves or, or just getting an understanding or just validating things that they're like tagging my, am I doing this right or am I going down the right path? A lot of people said, Rosalind, you have been a blessing to me. You don't know how much I resonate with your videos. You know, they have helped me a lot. They inspired me a lot. But, you know, I've got backlash for the things I, I've said. You know, like, but I told people, you know, go watch my intro video. Because then you'll understand why I did it. But I love the fact is they've been with me for a while and didn't really know the reason behind me doing the videos I did. They just knew I was doing Twin Flame videos. I do Empath videos. I did Hayoka videos. And now I'm being really stuck on Hayokas right now because I feel like so many of us, you know, you can even take it as an empath or just a Twin Flame. You're going through life and you have that empathy magnified so much that you take in so much you know you can be sensitive towards things and trying to figure out why am I going through these things why does my past keep coming up but it's just like I had to invest that in myself you know I was so upset because with my situation if you know the backstory on the reason why I started doing it I used to get angry because there's people out there that know about me never said nothing you know, they know my situation. They knew the things that I went through was not a lot. They just didn't inform me about it. They kept that to themselves. And then when I asked people, they would never help me. So it was just like, you know, I always worried about, oh, such and such ain't helping me. You know, they called themselves my mom's friends. And, you know, they kept quiet about it. Even though my mom told them, it's just like, if something happens to me, I want you to help my daughter out. They didn't do that. You know, my mom looked like, baby, I'm sorry. You know, I told this person this and they, you know, they kept quiet. So I can feel my mom being upset because I was so angry. But I see why I had to go through that. I had to invest in myself. So it's just like when you're doing things on your own and you're getting where you had to get. And there's, you know, people that either you intimidate them because your light shines better than their. Even though I'm just, you know, I always tell people, you know, you should never be comparing yourself to somebody else because you'll be disappointed all the time because you don't know what they had to do to get where they were getting you know sometimes we feel like that yeah, dog you know I wish I had that but things will come to us on divine timing when you invest in yourself when you know to let things go when you're trying to heal from whatever has hurt you in the past or currently hurting you in the past not feel like oh gosh is this not gonna come number one it's not gonna come when you want it to come you know People are blessed when they can end up having blessings come to them just, you know, just quick like that. It happens sometimes, but we can't compare our lives to somebody else's. You know, some people get upset about the things that I say, especially, you know, when they watch my intro. It's fine. You know, I don't care. You know, it's just, you, you can take it for what it's worth. You don't have to believe me, and that's fine. You know, I'm not here to convince anybody of anything, but it has... The situation that has brought me to that point where losing a parent is really hard. Being adopted, if you're adopted and you always want to know what your family, you know, was about, you know, you're, you're that child. Because I know there's a lot of people that didn't resonate with me. Like, why are you? Why is this so important for you to know these people? They haven't been in your life the whole time. Well, if you know your parent, you know where you came from, you know their backstory. 
then you 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 will never don't put yourself in my shoes if you've never been through that situation. Anybody who's adopted or always wanted to know their past and wanted to know what their you know their family was like, you know that will stick into your mind. And it just so happened who my father was was like something that was very traumatizing to me because I always had him in my life. Some way or another, I just didn't understand why he was in my life. Why did I keep having dreams? Why was I hearing this man talking my head all the time? And it was really crazy. And it's just like people that knew the situation I was going through and my mom had told them about it. And they, you know, they either turned their back or they stopped talking to me. Especially when they found out, I did find out. You know, people were like, oh, well, I didn't know. But there were certain things you, I remember you saying that didn't make sense. Or, you know, people are trying to bring it to my attention. And when it finally did, they don't want to say anything because my dad's passed. And they're just, oh, she's going to get this and this and this and that. So they try to stop me from getting it. So, you know, that was a very hurtful feeling to know that people would do that. But then it was just like, no, this is, that's not even about them. You know, people going to be like that anyway when, you know, they don't want you to have anything. Or they feel like intimidated by situations like that. I said it is what it is. But one thing I can say that even though I didn't have those people have my back, I got them out of my life anyway. Because it's like if you want to hurt me like that, I ain't got nothing to do with you. But I'm glad you didn't invest in me because you can't say whatever I got, you had to help me get. Because I can say with anything I have gotten, I got that on my own. I did, you know, I built my channel up on my own. You know, going through my life experiences, learning from my mistakes knowing the things that I researched about, knowing personal truth about myself and how I was helping other people along the way, and which was a true blessing for me. So it's just like when you're always on your journey, when you're on your journey and you get so upset, which you can, you know, you can be friends with people for years and it takes years just for you to find out that person was never your friend. I've had that left and right. You know, I was cool and dandy with a whole bunch of people until they found out who I was. Rosalind, why didn't you tell me this? I was just like, because I didn't know the whole full story about it. So why would I tell you? There's people that have, you know, found out my, about my situation. They were like, oh, Rosalind, I'm so happy for you. But they're no longer here on this earth. They had passed. And it just seemed like the people that were very excited for me about it are no longer here. So it's just like with me going through my situation, you invest in yourself. Don't worry about who's on your back, who got your back, who is in your corner, as long as you are in your corner. That is what is important. When you invest in things yourself, nobody can't say, oh, well, I helped them get that. People get salty about stuff like that. You know, so you invest in yourself. You do what you have to do. You know your own personal growth. You know your own personal journey. A lot of people won't get your journey, but it's not their journey for them to understand that's yours. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And, you know, love, know that you are truly favored, highly loved, and forever blessed. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. So my post notification, shout out. Let's see who am I going to do today. Karen. Much love to you and love and blessings to you. I hope you are having a blessed week and sending love and blessings your way as well. So like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. And, you know, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you or even drop me a line. Let me know you hit the notification so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. So much love to you. Peace and be wild.